Hey everyone, it is Yoshi100 here, and I'm here with the fourth episode of the Yoshi vs. Wombo series. Give me a sec, I need to check if everything's okay. Okay, so, um, the reason why I was checking was because I'd, I've done this a lot already, like three times, where I've thought I recorded the video and then I didn't record it because I wasn't recording. So I had to check, and I had to check what. Check all the. I had to check all the volume levels and everything, and it looks like everything's okay. So with that, let's get started already. And that's why the versus Wombo series hasn't like. I s I've got two episodes to do for this at this point in time, so that's something I definitely have got to get on to doing. Uh, but for now, let's just enjoy what we have here. So I built really weirdly here, um, and I had to clear stuff to make my thing work, and it's not very good. <laughs> my chain isn't very good right now, and Wombo's just built up a bunch of resources to use against me. So, yeah, that's how he was playing this round. Set up my counter build, which barely is anything, because it's only a 3 chain. So Wombo just can easily beat me up now. And then I got lucky, and I was able to clear this, which is nice of the game to allow me to do. And then the game gives me a bunch of very nice pieces, so... Uh, and with Wombo misdropping the way he was, or, well, having such a messy field at this point in time, it's not really beneficial for him at all. So I got kind of lucky there. Uh, well, very lucky, honestly. <laughs> Wombo waits, uh, since I guess he just wanted to see if he could continue his combo. But, you know, I have stuff ready, so... He just set it off, and it wasn't a big deal, we're okay. Set off the greens, very nice hellfire. Let's find the fast link too. So one is nearly, yep, okay, there it is. He rotated the wrong way, which didn't allow him to actually rotate that over, which is a rotation I often mess up as well, so it's not really, you know, it, it's still one of those things, just like with ice spins, that, well, ice spins are just the worst, honestly. Um, because with ice spins, it's like, you always forget, even people who know most of their spins, like, I, I'd say I do, I just, I still have a lot of trouble with ice spins, because they're stupid. <laughs> but that rotation up there, you kind of just should get used to knowing, just in case you ever run into that, because it can happen, and when it does, it's pretty drastic if you rotate the wrong way, because then your piece basically gets stuck, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's not good for your piece to get stuck. But anyway, there's a 3 chain from me. No, like, I was talking Tetris stuff, but, you know... Oh dear, yeah. It, not such a wise idea, after all. And the game started blocking me to just stop me from doing stuff, because, roll well, the game. Uh, and then I do a 2... I rotated the blue wrong, so it ended up being a 1 chain. Very sad about that one, honestly. Could have started digging a little bit, but, you know... Rot you rotate something wrong, and you won't get it, <laughs> which is just how the game goes. Alright, one by building up resources. I'm not in too bad of a position at this point in time, kind of just comfortably cruising around. Then I realized he sent too much to me, so I cleared two chain. Let me, uh, it, let me take the garbage a bit more comfortably. So set up my 3 chain, and Wombo's like, haha, you can't really do much about this, because I was so many resources built up, so then I just struggled, and eventually, I died. Yeah, and I thought the garbage would fall there too. Silly game and its timings, honestly. <laughs> it's so hard to tell sometimes, but hey, that's just... Another thing that happens in this game. I'm been pausing for a moment, not sure what was going on there. Maybe he was just thinking. I honestly don't know. Alright, so Wombo starts stacking up his Tetrises again. He seems to be a pretty big fan of a 6 3 stacking, from the looks of it. Unless I haven't been paying attention enough to the other games he's been playing. But uh, I think I've picked up that's what he often uses. Yeah, Wombo's got no problem, especially with garbage like that. <laughs> Just that doesn't let him Tetris it. Which is like the stupidest thing ever. 
So I simply set off what 4 chain I had. And Wombo just goes ahead and whacks me on the head. Because, you know, why not? Why not, right? <laughs> So he made his stack rather messy, I don't know what exactly he was trying to do, but it wasn't, well, it didn't seem to work out well for him. And, you know, he can recover. So, he does it really smartly, honestly. That was pretty smart. In the meantime, I'm trying to just survive still, because even at this point in time, he's pressuring me to the point where I have to focus on survival. And I can't really go for kill. Because knowing when you're able to go for kill and when you just have to keep playing for survival as the player play is very important. Because one of the things that you run into is if you try to finish them off with little things, they could end up just digging out of the position they're in and you could end up losing a battle that you could have won. Whereas if you just focus on survival, uh, when you need to focus on survival, you know, you're more likely to survive and things should turn out just fine. Uh, mm, they should. They don't always. So yeah, my counter is actually pretty good. Happy with this one. Okay, was waiting for the uh, garbage to fall that time round. Fortunately, don't have a. Unfortunately, that wasn't clear enough. Didn't have a powerful there, so it wasn't a seven chain like I wanted. But oh well. And here comes Wombo with his major, not major, mega combos. Good thing margin time has started kicking in, so. Yeah, I start building stuff to prepare for all the stuff he's sending. And then I'm waiting for greens. And the game decides not to give me greens for a while. Luckily, Wombo's not in a very good position at this point in time, so I don't have to worry about it all too much. Alright, go to a T-spin single. And he downstacks quite nicely. Goes for this so well, he struggles with the spin for a while, which is nice, because, you know, that gives me a bit of time. Yeah, I tried to get him that time, but he was ready with that eyepiece. Still trying to get him. So I get, I, I send up a three chain, and... Yep. Get him with that. It's tough to, you know, knock out Wombo, but with modern time, you can win. Because you could see that we got to the point where Wombo was sending stuff with singles, so that's pretty far in margin time. Alright, seeing what his build, I know what to do. You know, I actually build up a chain so that I can defend. Otherwise I can't. <laughs> so, my chain's a bit all over the place at this point in time. I have to find a way to fix this. Meanwhile, Mum Mumbo. <laughs> Wombo starts setting off his full wide. Okay, so I go for the extension, and I can't really extend further, so... Here we go. Alright, Wombo waits. He plays stolen game. As, you know, you'd usually do as a Tetris player, using full wide against a Poirier player. Mm -hmm. And he gets an extra link, and he survives! So then my job now is to knock him out, right? Hellfire will do the trick. And we've knocked him out that round. The set goes to us. 3-2. Okie dokie. Moving on to the next set. Putting on the right once again it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to describe the way I'm doing stuff. But, uh, Wombo looks like his... Uh, well, I mean, that's pretty much... Oh, nah, that's... Not 6-3. It's just 5-4. Does he favor the right side? Maybe that's something that he... That I've successfully picked up. Does he favor the right side? Maybe. Anyway, he gave me a lot of time during his resource build-up. But the thing is, he can just, like... Combo this using the basic two wide stuff, which is silly because the game didn't give me a power pool, so I couldn't do anything because this game is dumb. Otherwise, I could have defended. I was waiting for a power pool for quite a while, but I didn't get it, so yeah. Fun times. Generally, when I kind of just shake my piece around or something, 
uh, it kind of signifies, oh, uh, like I'm not very happy right now because generally because of droughts. That's what ha what I'm not so happy about. I'm just like, oh no, the game droughted me forever. And this time around, he just like attacked very aggressively, and I wasn't ready for that. I didn't build up high enough to be able to counter his aggressive plays. Alright, an all clear start, and it's one of these all clears that I wish I would get against someone like OPM who uses all clear, uh, no sorry, perfect clear opener, because then it would just mess up his perfect clear, <laughs> and then just be like, haha, sorry, no perfect clear for you, but that's not how it happened, which is sad. Alright, well, here's a bit of a chain, more of a defensive chain. And Wombo starts comboing, and we all know how Wombo's combos go at this point. But I do have stuff to respond, so that's good. It's a 5 chain, double link in the 4th chain, or, you know, uh, well, no, I don't know how to word that. <laughs> I was thinking of a way to word it, couldn't think of one. Okay, wait, and then I set off my chain to counter. Alright, now the distribution of pieces right now is kind of silly, but I guess I'm kind of working with it as Wombo combos, and then the game, uh, I just didn't really build anything, I don't really see what I was trying to build there, <laughs> so, I mean, it was just kind of awkward, <laughs> but hey, full set goes to Wombo there, or oh, must watch, huge comeback what the game says, but I don't even know how the tagging works in this game, so I don't know. Alright, there goes Wombo once again, and I recognize this, so I just use that right hand side as my tail, uh, since that's usually more natural with the way I build, I usually build on the left hand side. Alright, he starts setting stuff off and then he misdrops, which really isn't too big of a deal, honestly. Uh, but for me, it's more of a big deal. Alright. So, yeah, at this point in time, I hadn't realized that my chain broke. So I'm waiting for purple so that I can actually fix up my mess. Because this game is mean. And I'm like, wait a minute, this actually doesn't break completely. So I can set this off instead of having to keep cycling through and trying to get to purples so that, you know, while Wombo was stalling, maybe he would allow me to do so, but it's okay. Wombo stops his combo and actually ends up surviving. He's not in too bad of a position, so he starts setting stuff off. And then I wait for pieces, and then he kills me because lol single spam. I mean, not single spam, it's double spam, but even then, it's just... <sighs> so close, but no. The four wider wins. Which is just sad. So one most fancy here, and actually sets up a mid-game washing machine. Nice of you to do, Wombo. <laughs> Alright, I set up a four chain. I have quite a few resources on the left, so start using them, or try to apply them to what I have. And then I set off this very powerful chain, double three and four, San double and Yon double. Okay, here is a three chain, somewhat powerful. Uh, the fourth was it? Fourth link didn't. A combo because of the way that they were aligned, my pieces were aligned. Uh, sh shes it. Wombo, what am I thinking? <laughs> I'm just saying the character's name now. No, uh, Wombo was very aggressive again, so I struggled quite a lot to do stuff, and the game blocked me there, so I couldn't do anything. But even then, I don't think I, I mean, there wasn't really much I could do otherwise anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Third round begins. Uh, this distribution wasn't too comfortable. Like y you can see, the way I built was sort of eh. But I mean, whatever works is 
the goal here. So if you make something out of even just not very good pieces. Also, that was very bad positioning. I don't know what that was all about. But then the game was nice and gave me a purple red. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not going to help in this game. Oh, I forgot. Uh, so yeah. What am I waiting for? Oh, I just set off my chain really weirdly. And, oh, that's right. Yes, okay, I remember now. At that point in time, I saw that Wombo was building up a lot of stuff. So, in that case, if the if the opponent is building up a lot of stuff, and you think that they won't be able to respond in time, what you have to do, or what you should try to do, is you should try to try to strike them out. Also, Wombo here, with his sneaky little... Oh, I have a T-spin. Just kidding. I'm full whiting you. I mean, not just kidding about the T-spin, but, you know, it's still a full white setup. So, what I was saying was, if you can find a way to defeat the opponent while they're, you know, high up, then you should definitely go for it, because that's a good way to kill. Because I remember, I was playing against Mickey, I'm pretty sure it was. He built up really high, I don't know what it was, I think it was a full wide, right? And I did a one chain. It was like a power one that sent like two lines. So he ended up dying. Or was it like, th maybe it was more than two lines, but he ended up dying because of it, which is pretty great. It's, it's pretty nice when that happens. Also, one more didn't die, so at this point, I'm trying to finish him. But you know, Tetris, well, but it looks like he didn't survive this time. <laughs> so that's, that's nice for me. Nice for me. Oh boy, and here's another all clear. Okay, so the only problem is, when you go for all clears, it's better to go for them when the opponent is building up resources, like last time, where we saw this, like earlier. Because the thing is, all clears don't seem to be very vulnerable when fighting against player, a player who is using early strategies, so... When I talk about that, I mean early strategies as in, or early setups such as TKI, you know, firing off those quick T-spins at the start, so that, like TKI, Albatross, pretty much most uh, T-spin openers, but specifically single bag T-spin openers, because if it comes to something like, you know, uh, DC Cannon, or if they start building up a full wide, or if, you know, like we've seen Wombo do a few times, well, quite a lot of times actually, build up lots of resources at the start of the game. That is, it, it's a bit safer to go for all clears in that instance. Uh, still don't know how effective it is or how much risk there is, but there's definitely less risk than if you're going for an all clear against you know someone who's already pressuring you. Because you go for the all clear, they send off a T spin. You don't have many resources to work with. You've kind of just wasted your time. And sure, you can use that all clear to defend yourself, but then there's just been no point in being able to get that all clear in the first place. So, you know, it's just weighing the risks is what's important. And that goes for most of. Oh, well, hold on, just just a sec. One bird there with the not so good, the kind of failed hatchies, hatchy spin, but then he fixed it, and then now he's got a trinity. <laughs> also, my chain is very powerful. But yeah, as I was saying, it's really just a lot of poor versus Tetris is... What the? What happened? Did, did he have like a... Did his board go too high up? Did he have like an eyepiece next and it came and he died, or... I, don't, I can't really tell what happened there. He kind of just died, which kind of confused me. <laughs> so yeah, like this, in that case, if Wombo had been building up the resources and I had an all clear start, I think it would be safer to go for. So, as I was saying, Play vs. Tetris is a very risk vs. reward sort of game. Tetris vs. Play is not so much of that kind of game, because, you know, when you're the Tetris player, you don't have as much to risk, really. Maybe risks when it comes to do you want to set off two Tetrises instead of one Tetris? So, you know, go for the mass attack rather than separate attacks that just stole the player. But sometimes, you know, sending off two of them gives the player player enough time to do stuff. Whereas if you set off both of them at the same time, you may catch them off guard. At the same time, it might not be as effective. 
because of which I might be ready for it. So it really just depends. Although again, in that instance, it's not really risking it. It's just observing whether or not the player player is ready for your attacks. Whereas when you're a player player, it's just can I get this? And if I can't, how likely is it that I'll survive or that I will be able to fix it later on or whatever? Um. So being able to weigh that risk versus reward sort of thing, also this don't clear very sad. It's a big part of playing Poi vs Tetris. Because, well, as much as, you know, it's kind of meh to talk about, Poi vs Tetris does have a fair amount of luck when it comes to the Poyo player, because, you know, the reason why I can't really win consistently is because sometimes the game is just, well, it's not nice enough, I guess to be able to survive, whereas other times it gives you like perfect pieces to chain with, right? And in those cases you can usually survive, whereas if it droughts you in this game, there is no way, unless the Tetris player miss drops really badly or something, there's no way to be able to survive. Also, look at Wombo with all these floaty teaspoons. Yeah, so e even look here. No, that's... Whatever. I'm just having trouble digging now. This is bad. Uh, well, I have a Hellfire to defend myself with. So that's a thing. One more giving me time is actually quite nice of him. Oh, and then the garbage actually fell when I didn't expect it to fall. That's a thing that happens in this game. It's like, you think the garbage is gonna fall, and it doesn't. And then you think that the garbage isn't gonna fall, and it does. Very annoying sometimes. The timings. I feel like they're inconsistent. Like they're probably not inconsistent because they're like coded into the game and whatever. But it just feels like sometimes the garbage falls when it's not meant to, and vice versa. It's like no it makes playing the game so bleh sometimes, for lack of a better word. <laughs> all right, double Tetris, and I am all ready for it. Yeah, the game didn't give me a yellow. I think that was what my trigger was, but I mean, this works anyway. I think that's what my trigger was, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Sometimes it can be hard to read my own chains at times when I'm trying to figure out what's happening on Wombo's board, but this time around he was just stacking up, and building up resources. And in those cases, I usually focus on my own build, because, you know, the, on Wombo's side I can mention, oh, he's just building up resources, but... I mean, well, there isn't really much you can say otherwise, it's kind of just like, eh. So anyway, Wombo is in, an, in a really unrecoverable position because he keeps blocking himself off. Like, he just cleared that line, like, four times without actually clearing it off properly. So, that trouble that he was having allowed me to set off something that killed him before he was able to get down to that. Very nice garbage, I will say. Okay, so here's a Fortune Oakley. I'm not sure if it was worth going for the double blue one, um, or if I should have just set off my Oakley a little earlier. But, I mean, it probably was a bit of a waste of time, really, because it doesn't really benefit me. I think it sent one line, but, I mean, look at this. This isn't, that one line isn't really going to kill Wombo, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, so that's a 4-chain. Wombo's decided not to defend with that Tetris. I, I guess he just wasn't expecting so much garbage to fly up at once, so he kind of just died. <laughs> um, it ended very quickly there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are all the sets that we will... Well, all the sets that we have today. And that means that this will be it for today's episode. Or this episode. It's not really a daily thing, so I don't really have to say that today's episode. I can't really say this week's episode, because the, the uploads have been so inconsistent anyway. Um, but overall, this is an episode. So as always, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and that uh, you've been enjoying the series. Uh, we'll continue producing these things, because I know, like, even now I still get some comments on some of the recent videos, so it's nice to see that people are still enjoying this, and because of that, I'll just, 
I'll just keep on rolling them out so that you guys can be uh, entertained, informed, whatever this brings to you. But anyway, I'm going to head off now. So, as always, hope you have a great rest of the day or night. Love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.